Hello, this is Frédéric with Mosaic Blues again. And uh, today we are in beautiful uh, northern France, Picardy. And uh, I brought four mosaics ten days ago from the States. And we are uh, discovering them for the first time today. So I already uh, opened uh, two pair of eyes. This is a green iron design here. So you still have lots of blues, so there's still lots of work to be done on them before we can uh, actually exactly what they are going to look like and so this green eye design I released in the public domain so if you want to use this design to make your own mosaics please contact me and uh, I'll send it to you and uh, now we have here a bigger piece this name Carlotta this is one of the portraits I've done uh, last spring in uh, Headland, Alabama that I brought here is the part of a beautiful young lady. She's a talented musician. She plays the cello in uh, England. And here we have uh, one of the pieces I've been working for quite a while. It's called a pomegranate treat, inspired by a 13th century Persian manuscript. And we are going to remove this uh, uh, fiberglass mesh has been mounted on. So I brought the mosaic, I built the mosaic on the fiberglass mesh. I glued, it was all upside down, I glued everything on the mesh, and this is what I brought to France. And in France, I built this frame here out of wood and this uh, very big eye board, backing board, and I glued this on top of the mosaic. And today, we are going to remove the mesh, and we are going to see the mosaic for the first time. So I put some water on top of it, so you can see that the glue turns much more white, it becomes more subtle, so we'll be able to remove it, and we're going to remove this sort of, this sort of dead skin, you see, like, like you have on a snake, and we're going to remove that, that dead skin, like the snake sheds his skin, and uh, we're going to see the, the, the birth of the mosaic for the first time. So here we go, so now you can see the, the red border of the pomegranate tree, and here you have a nice little border, uh, flowery border, okay, and this here, and here we go, voila, and that appears the bottom of the tree itself, it's beautiful cobalt blue background. So this mosaic is entirely made of glass. I have not used any other material than glass and mirrors to make it. It's the first time I build a mosaic only out of this kind of material. And you can see there's lots of glue here. And it's a little lengthy, but it's a big piece. Here we go. And so pomegranate will stay here in France. I am going to make another one of these. I started to work on it in my workshop in the States. A little bigger size. Here we go. So you have a great number of different glasses here. Blues, beautiful reds and blues and greens and goldens. Here we go. We don't have the sun is coming. So you can see there's still lots of blue here. I'm going to have to spend quite a few more hours cleaning up everything before I can grab it. See here, it, see if we can show it a bit more. Okay. Not, not really. Let's see what we have. Yes, we have a better vision here. I wish I had a small tool here. So you can see green, green mirror of different kind, some iridescent red. It's going to be absolutely beautiful under the sun. I don't know, maybe if it's pretty under the sun, you may have some idea of what the final piece is going to look like. This pomegranate tree, inspired by a 13th century Persian manuscript. And so this is Frederick Lepid with Mosaic Blues. Bye-bye.